There is a type of transmission we hear about a lot called a CVT. CVT means Continuously Variable Transmission. If we look at how this transmission works from a side view, you will be reminded of a bicycle driven by chain and sprocket, but with the twist of having a variable system. There are two pinions and crowns that with the aid of a metal chain have the ability of growing in diameter on one side while the other gets smaller or vice versa. That mechanism allows for an almost infinite number of variations. A CVT transmission is like a transmission with an infinite number of gears. When one side grows or gets closer, the chain gives and the other side gets smaller. And that allows for the different gearing ratios as we can see here. So I can go from maximum torque to maximum horsepower. It is not something I choose though. It is chosen by the computer that is permanently analyzing what I am asking of the car. It analyzes my speed, how much I'm pressing the gas, and says, this guy wants speed, or this guy wants acceleration. It switches back and forth from maximum torque or maximum power to give me the best performance I want on one hand, and giving me the best gas economy on the other. It does this all on its own. It's something you have to get used to. If you haven't experienced it yet, you might think the clutch has gone bad if you see your speed going up but the sound of the engine stays the same, or your speed stays the same and the engine changes revs. It's something you have to get used to driving. The end result is a system that allows the flexibility to the car to have better performance and better fuel economy depending on the situation.